What's good YouTube, your boy Bosco back again with another video. Today we're talking about some new upcoming basketball sneakers that you might want to grab the hoop in. If you see something you like, hit the like button, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about these sneakers, you dig? First off, we got dropping April 7th for a retail price of $240, the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Penny PE. New release date, like I said. This colorway is definitely one of the more unique ones. White foam posit shell with the black leather upper, inner booty, tongue, and carbon fiber shank plate and heel as well. This does come in the white metallic silver with the black as well as cobalt bliss with a hint of racer blue. I like this color scheme, paying homage to the Orlando Magic home uniforms. Let me know if this is definitely a Penny Hardaway that you guys will be adding to your collection or our phones played out for you. Next up, dropping March 31st for a retail price of $250 is the Nike Air Phone Posit 1 Dream World. I do like phone posits, but going up to $250 I think is a little crazy in my personal opinion. But this colorway is dope. As you can see, it has the black foam shell detail with white scuff marks. Then you have the plush suede eye stays and collars, the mesh inner booty and patent leather pull tabs. You have a uh, luck success happens when preparation meets opportunity along with insert your dreams and dream a world that are all printed on the insoles and tissue paper you have a special box i'm not sure if you get extra laces let me know if this is something that you guys will be picking up 250 is a little bit much but it is a dope shoe give me your thoughts and opinions of this in the comments below next up nike's bringing back another classic dropping later this year for a retail price of 180 dollars the nike air zoom generation debut of course, a reference to LeBron's first game as he played in the NBA against the Sacramento Kings October 29, 2003 as the Cavs overall picked. He came out with 25 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds, 4 steals, and 42 minutes even though they lost 106-92. Definitely a dope shoe and classic in its own right. White, black, varsity red, and metallic silver is the color scheme. This offering of the Nike Zoom Generation returns which is OG foam featuring. Let me know what you guys think about this overall. It features a white leather base with black mesh paneling along with the varsity red contrasting accents nike zoom cushion sole completes the shoe let me know if you guys will be picking up this classic lebron next up we have a new nike kd15 dropping for a retail price of 150 dollars which is the standard price for this kd15 i am a fan of this colorway as you guys can see it has the light gray white base with the black detailing and the teal contracting accents of course they all come with the multi-layer mesh upper for enhanced ventilation then of course you have that floating tpu wings and a molded heel for achilles support which i'm a big fan of the full length air strobel technology is something that a lot of people are a fan of when it comes to the kds let me know what you guys think about this colorway in the comment section below is this a cop or a pass next up dropping april 7th for a retail price of 120 bucks we got the jordan tatum one this is the zoo colorway let me know what you guys think about this we talked about these a while ago but now they're finally here this one comes in the black metallic gold university gold and bleach color scheme this colorway is inspired by tatum's favorite place to take his son deuce which is the zoo it has different animal patterns covering the upper with the phrase welcome to the zoo printed on the insoles it does feature the lightweight reinforced tpu frame that allows excess material to be stripped away let me know if you guys are a fan of the tatum one and, and if you guys will be grabbing this to hoop in Next up, we have dropping for retail of 170 bucks the women's exclusive Nike Air More Tempo Electric. Now, there was a men's pair that came in a dominant black colorway. This one for the ladies will have the all-white leather upper with perforations and black mesh tongues. Then you have highlighting the shoe are the Volt Green and Hyper Pink outlines on the shoe's air block lettering with the electric graphics used on the tongue and insole branding. I'm liking this shoe for the ladies. Not sure how many people actually will rock them, but let me know how you feel about these in the comment section below. Pretty unique. Next up, dropping for a retail price of 170 bucks on March 25th, the Reebok Hurakazi 2 in the UCLA colorway. Of course, paying homage to the UCLA Bruins. White, blue, and gold is the color scheme. This right here has the white leather upper with the blue and gold contrasting accents with suede overlays on the sole unit. I think these are pretty nice. The signature branding placement, of course, two-tone laces and the pull tabs with the solid rubber outsole. Let me know if you guys like this classic colorway and this classic sneaker in the comment section below. Next up, dropping later this March for a retail price of 160 bucks, we have the Reebok Question Mid Bethel High. This colorway is pretty unique. It comes with the white 
tumbled and smooth leather upper with mesh tongues highlighted with green and yellow contrasting accents paying homage to the color of the high school other notable details include the bstn lettering along the lace loops mismatched heel tabs with the fabrics nodding to each sport iverson played his high school and football numbers are also on the back heels with the translucent also which i'm a big fan of let me know if this is a question mid that you can see yourself adding to your collection definitely a fire colorway as of late, we definitely have had a lot of releases of the Reebok Question Mid and Lows. Let me know some of your favorite colorways that have recently dropped as we have more to talk about in this video. This next one's dropping for a retail price of $140, the Reebok Question Low Rec Center. This Reebok Question Low channels the nostalgia with lively colors on the outsole, synonymous with the Rex atmosphere. It features a gray leather base with mesh tongues and black suede toe cap, a white midsole and hexalite cushioning completes the let me know what you guys think about this colorway as we have more to talk about. As I said, there's even more questions to be dropped. This one here is retailing for 170 bucks. We have the Reebok Question Mid Orange Toe, which of course, as you can see, comes in white and the orange colorway with the all-white leather upper with the new buck and toe box contrasting accents of orange. I like this color scheme on here. Very hard shoe to keep clean, but let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Is this something that you will be adding to your collection? And as I said before, let me know some of your favorite Reebok questions that have dropped this year or last year in the comments below. And the last Reebok question mid that I want to talk about is coming in the Michigan State colorway, dropping March 25th, coming in the flower white, pine green and flower white which is a very unique color scheme that they're using 160 on the retail of course paying homage to michigan state let me know what you guys think about this i love the uh, green suede on the toe box as well as back heel caps then you have that translucent blue outsole with the white leather base you definitely can't go wrong with this one at all rate this one from a one to ten and do you guys see yourself adding this one to your collection of course let me know in the comment section below great to see iverson sneaker get so much attention even though this is a basketball sneaker it's definitely worn a lot more for casual wear so let me know people watching this is this something that you will add to your collection for hooping or just wearing them casually next up we have a very vibrant curry 2 dropping march 14th for a retail price of 150 bucks the under armor curry 2 splash party is back with a reimagined pair looking pretty much similar to the 2016 pair that dropped before this shoe has a white base with a very colorful also with details on the shoe to give you a vibe of what you would see at a kid's birthday party with the cake, the confetti, the candles, and the sprinkles. That's why the outsole is so live as well as the sock liner. Let me know what you guys think about this Under Armour Curry 2. Is this something that you guys will add to your collection or is it an easy pass? Next up, I have updated images of the new Nike Cosmic Unity 3 in the pale vanilla colorway. This right here will retail for $160. Coming in the pale vanilla, sea coral, topaz gold, Sand Drift, Barley Gray, and Minka Green, which is very unique. This Cosmic Unity 3 comes constructed in a mix of materials detailed with embroidery weaves throughout. Nike pinwheel logo on the lateral heel tabs. Then you have the Crater Sole equipped with the full-length Zoom Strobel. I'm a fan of this sneaker. I want to see what it looks like in hand. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Cosmic Unity 3 in the comments below. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Jordan Why Not 6 Bright Concord, dropping later in March for a retail price of $140. 40 bucks i mean so far so good i like the colorways i've been seeing this right here of course has the mix of the bright concord pink prime black vivid sulfur aquatone and coconut milk which is a pretty dope color combination if you ask me the jordan why not six comes constructed with a semi-translucent grid layer leather and suede materials along with the zipper shroud detailing with repeat why not text i like this man the exposed stitching on the medial side you have the rubber outsole to complete the shoe this colorway and the ones i've been seeing so far has definitely been a hit for the jordan why not six let me know if this is something you can see yourself grabbing the hoop in or is this shoe an easy pass but to me it's dope and it reminds me a lot of the gary payton shoe with the zippers on next i want to talk about this new balance basketball sneaker that i've been seeing that looks pretty dope and it only retails for 120 bucks the new balance two-way v3 blue haze is a pretty dope looking shoe dropping later this march this one comes in black blue haze and twilight it also features the molded textile upper for secure lockdown fit along with the midfoot tpu clip that adds lateral stability you also have the full cell midsole equipped with the absorb cushioning which i've heard a lot of good things about then it has a really good traction on the outsole let me know if you guys are fan of these they only retail for 120 and they look good for hooping or casual wear in my opinion next up we have a new colorway of the nike air zoom generation this is the dark gray color scheme 
dropping for a retail price of 190 bucks within the next few months. Dark gray, wolf gray, and anthracite is the color scheme. This offering of the Nike Air Zoom Generation features the gray scale color upper constructed with a mix of new buck suede and mesh materials you have the anthracite hints on the toe trim heel and eye stays along with the tongue then you have the semi-translucent outsole which i'm a fan of out of this colorway or the original one it's kind of a toss-up for me which nike zoom generation colorway are you liking the most and do you see yourself adding this one to your collection let me know your thoughts in the comments below Next up, we have another classic penny, which is made in a partnership with Ace. The legacy of the Air Max One celebrates Penny Hardaway's impact on basketball and hoop culture over the past three decades. And I'm excited to see because there's a lot of dope colorways for the Penny One. Following Penny's 14-year pro career with the Orlando Magic, Phoenix Suns, New York Knicks, Miami Heat, Hardaway became a coach of the Memphis Tigers, which is his alma mater. He has a very positive record of 84 and 43. The program has four consecutive 21 seasons since he's been there, which is really dope. So it's good to see Nike paying homage to the Air Max Penny One. As you can see all the details on the shoe. You guys can see this penny here features the long hair suede as well as leather upper with the white as well as a sail outsole. You have design on the back heel cup as well as on the tongue area. This shoe is much different from the Pratt's Penny Ones. It reminds me a lot of the Bone colorway that recently came out with, of course, more details to it. Let me know if this is a copper pass for you. And this is also another sneaker that is originally a basketball shoe, but you see a lot more people rocking it for casual wear. So if you're hooping in these, let me know. If you're wearing it for casual wear, sound off in the comments below. Next up, dropping later in March for a retail price of 120 bucks, we have the Jordan Luca 1 Next Nature in the Wolf Gray color. This right here comes in a very unique colorway with Wolf Gray lapis black you have ghost as well as cool gray this right here comes with the low cut design feature in the new iso plate system with the full length formula 23 foam as we talked about with these lucas i do like this color base coming in gray constructed with a mix of leather and mesh highlighting the concord and orange contrasting accents I like the pinwheel design on the logo. It does have the semi-translucent outsole as well as a speckled midsole. I'm a big fan of this colorway and the Luka ones have definitely been on point. If you own any in your collection, let us know which colorway you own in the comments below. Next up, we have a new colorway of the Nike Zoom LeBron NXXT Gen or Next Gen in the wolf gray colorway for a retail price of 160 bucks. Now I do like this color scheme. It is pretty unique. Wolf gray, pink spell, and hyper royal is that color scheme. This right here features a wolf gray base with blue suede overlays on the medial heel detailing the iridescent swoosh on each side. I think that's a really nice touch. You got the LBJ branding on the tongues. You have the double X on the heel pull tabs. You have NXXT text on the insoles with LeBron's crown logo on the medial. I think this shoe is dope with the semi pink translucent outsole. You can't go wrong with it. A lot of the colorways they came with so far are definitely on point from a 1 to 10. I have to give this shoe overall a solid nine. I'm definitely looking forward to trying it. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. And let's get into this next colorway that we have of it also. This colorway of the Nike Zoom LeBron Next Gen is a lot more cleaner, dropping later in March for a retail price as well as 160 bucks. Coming in the white, metallic silver, and black color scheme, all of the specs are the same as you've seen for all the LeBron Next Gen. I do like this colorway. Majority white with the black detailing and metallic silver all over the shoe. You definitely can't go wrong with this color scheme. Very clean look. Looking forward to seeing what it looks like on the courts. Let me know if this is something you guys will be hooping in and adding to your collection. Next up, we got some unique sneakers from Adidas Basketball. Dropping for a retail price of 140 bucks. We have the Adidas Trey Young 2. The first one is the Dash Gray colorway. Dash Gray, Halo Silver, and Matte Silver is the color scheme. These Trey Young 2s all come with that knitted and semi laceless upper with textile lining and hints of green accents used on this shoe for branding areas and lace tips. I think the boost heel makes it very comfortable along with the light strike. You can definitely hoop really good on these on indoor courts. That's what they're really recommend it for then we also have another colorway that's based off of flowers let me know what you guys think about this one. as you can see it comes in the black white and sail with a little bit of rainbow on the outsole the trey young 2 is a very unique shoe i like the details 
on this colorway. I think that's what's going to make this stand out the most. I'm hearing a lot of good rapport, but like I said before, the Trey Young 2 is definitely a shoe you would want to hoop in indoors. Give me your thoughts and opinions and feedback on the Trey Young 2s in the comments below. Next up is a sneaker I have so many thoughts and opinions about, but right now we're going to keep it about the shoe dropping later in the summer for a retail price of $125. Bucks. We got the Nike Sabrina 1 Photon Dust. Nike Basketball has officially unveiled the new signature basketball sneaker, the Nike Sabrina 1. The Designed for players who are looking to accelerate and cut quickly on both ends of the court. This shoe right here gives me so much Kyrie vibes. I feel like this would have been his next sneaker had he still been with Nike. However, Sabrina's Romanian heritage is all over this sneaker on the forefoot and eye stays, paying homage to the traditional art and architecture. I think these are definitely fire. The colorways they come with are definitely going to be on point. The traction looks crazy. You have the air zoom unit on the forefoot. You also have Nike React cushioning combined with that. There is a bold message of anyone anywhere that is embedded in the midsole as reference to her unmatched competitive spirit. I think these are really nice. If she comes with it correctly, they're going to be fire. People will be picking these up for sure. Like I said, this gives me Kyrie vibes all day, like the Kyrie Low 6 perhaps. But give me your thoughts and opinions on that in the comments below. Next up, we have some images of the Nike Ja1 EYBL alternate. Now, this is pretty crazy. Of course, the EYBL is a sneaker that you only get if you're hooping in that league. So this won't be out to the public. But I had to talk about this colorway because it is ridiculous. From a 1 to 10, I have to give it a 9 and a half, 10 with the mismatch color blocking on the shoes. Let me know if this is something that you would try to get your hands on and how do these match up compared to all the other colorways of the Jaw 1 that we've seen so far, including this next colorway. I'd have to say so far, they've been hitting it out the park with the nike ja1 the colorways have definitely been on point this next one is on fire too only retailing for 110 bucks coming in the game royal black university red photo blue bright crimson as well as the vivid orange color scheme this offering comes with the mismatch game royal and university red on each pair it features a mess build with the reinforced midfoot and wrap around the swooshes signature job branding and it's number 12 on the heels you have the speckled midsole with the mismatched rubber outsole give me your thoughts about this colorway and rank this from from a one to ten comparing to the other jaw ones that we've seen so far as you can see, there's a lot to look forward to as far as basketball sneakers in the next coming weeks from Adidas to Puma to Reebok to Under Armour, just name it. Let me know what you guys think about what you've seen. Give me your top picks. If you want to see what else is coming out with Jordan Retros or other sneakers, watch these videos right here.